November is over. Praise the Lord. Hey guys, so it is the end of November, finally. So that means I can make videos again, kind of. I'm here to wrap up November. Um, if you don't know, November, I have not been reading anything. Uh, so this is me kind of telling you what I did instead of reading this month. As you know, November is NaNoWriMo, which is National Novel Writing Month. And I participate every year now. I've been doing it since 2010. I won last year. Didn't win this year, but you win some, you lose some, it's okay. So if you watch my NaNoWriMo prep video, uh, which a lot of you did, it has like 10,000 views and I don't know how that happened, but my plan for this year was to write a retelling of Moulin Rouge, uh, the film, if you haven't seen it, by Baz Luhrmann. Incredible, you should watch it if you haven't. But uh, my retelling is a fantasy retelling and instead of it being um, a guy and a girl who fall in love, it's about two women who fall in love and they're both ace and it's, it's a work in progress, that's what it is. This month I had some unexpected things happen and so my priorities shifted uh, away from writing and so I only wrote about 26,000 words um, and I, I wrote them very quickly. I was very strong at the beginning and then my morale ran low and things happened and I just like couldn't finish it. That doesn't mean I'm giving up. I am hoping, as I always hope, that someday I will finish it. Um, hopefully in the new year that'll happen but I just really could not focus on it and I didn't want to push it because it's such an important story to me. I vlogged what I did for the most part uh, but towards the end it just kind of fell apart so um, yes I failed but I I'm fine. I'm okay. I made it through. Uh, the thing about this NaNoWriMo that's different from last year. Last year I was very much in a winning type of mood. I wanted to write 50k in a month. I wanted to be a winner and I wanted to like have that happen. This month it was less about that and more about writing something that I'm like happy about and proud of and also like finishing a dang book and I didn't finish it but uh the writing that I've done for this novel is so much better than my last one because I actually tried um and I'm not necessarily proud of it yet but I think it has given me a lot of opportunity to grow and to add more to it and I feel confident that I can potentially go back and work on it. So, <laughs> writing has been up and down this month. Uh, I am really glad about what I did, but I'm also just like, so ready for this month to be over. You guys have no clue. I'm not even gonna discuss like December reading plans because frankly, there are none. Uh, so <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you about my life because I'm a YouTuber. That's what we do here. Also, I feel like my life has been crazy and you guys probably don't even know what I'm going through. You'll see this in the vlog. I put this in my NaNoWriMo vlog, but uh, at the beginning of the month, not even November 1st, uh, on Halloween I had this very uh, traumatic experience. I ended up hitting a deer um, on the highway at 70 miles an hour and I totaled my car. Um, it was a terrible day. <laughs> it was very rough. Um, and ever since then I've been trying to like get my life back on track. However, in doing that um, I've had to figure out more about car insurance. I had to buy a new car. I had to get two rental cars in between getting that new car. Um, I have to get a Tennessee driver's license. I also got a speeding ticket before I hit the deer. So I had to go to court for the speeding ticket. Um, I've been dealing with like financial stuff. I have to figure out how to be an adult basically. And this whole month has just been so overwhelming and exhausting for me. It's weird because going into it, I was like, oh my gosh, this month is gonna be so chill. I don't have any papers to write. I'm an adult. I can do whatever. I can write this damn book. And then God was like, nah, nah, not yet, no, mm, mm So that was like the main thing that happened, but in addition to that, um, this month has been specifically hard um, because I feel like it's a culmination of the past like six to eight months. Like we are getting to the end of the year and upon looking back at the rest of my year, I have realized that I've had some problems with my mental health. And I've hinted at this, I feel like, in other videos. And I've just been like, by the way, might be depressed, don't really know. And like, I'm half joking, but like, in all seriousness, it's something that I've been thinking about a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot recently. And so I, I took the jump over Thanksgiving and I talked to my parents about it. And I think in the new year, I'm going to work on that. I don't know if that means I'll end up getting a therapist slash counselor or like, what that looks like, but I finally admitted that it is screwing with my life and I'm not a fan of it. And so that is another thing that's been really getting me down. I've been like slightly depressed. Originally, I thought it was just laziness of me being like, I don't wanna do anything, life is pointless, but like, mm, 
that's depression. <laughs> and so it like, it's just been hitting me really hard. And it's been hitting me all year, just like kind of up and down. But this month specifically, ever since I hit the deer, and especially right after Taylor's album dropped, I just like hit this extreme low where I was like, I don't care about anything. I feel like crap. I don't want to do anything. Another thing that's been feeding into my like depression is, um, I am, if you don't know, I'm like six months in post-grad right now. I graduated in May from college and now I'm at the point where I'm like, I mean, I've been overwhelmed ever since I graduated, but now I really feel overwhelmed with this thought of like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I don't know. <laughs> and my mother keeps asking me and like friends ask me, relatives, like everybody wants to know like, oh, so what, what's your plan? I don't know. I, I don't I don't know I don't have a plan I have a job which is great and it's not like I'm I'm looking for a new job per se but a lot of my friends are like oh well this is my like next step this is what I'm working towards or I'm really super happy with my job and I know this is gonna be my career forever whereas me I'm like well I have no clue I don't know what I'm gonna do and that has caused me a lot of just like problem thoughts you know a lot of spiraling um, a lot of ignoring, uh, that's the thing I'm very good at is ignoring things. It has now come to the point where it's the end of the year and I am, I'm done ignoring my problems. Not really. I've been spending a lot of time recently with my handy dandy notebook. Um, and I don't even remember where I got this, but I just started using it recently for like a lot of lists, like literally so much planning. Like I just plan all the time now. I've been thinking a lot about New Year and what I want to do in 2018 and this is going to come more in a later video but I just kind of wanted to touch on it because it's definitely part of this wrap up. Um, in November I've kind of taken the time to like think on what I want to do next year and um, how I want to proceed with like different parts of my life um, and I've decided <laughs> <laughs> that one I'm not gonna travel so much next year uh, I don't really have the budget for it and also it was just a lot to deal with this year so I'm gonna dial it back probably not gonna go to as many cons um, but the real thing that I want to do in 2018 is like work on myself and me and like my life and my like Nashville life if that makes sense because I was so happy traveling and like being out in the world but when I came back home, even though I love coming back home, also I feel very much like trapped and confused and lost and like I don't really know what home is here. But I know this is home. I just don't know what it looks like or what it's supposed to look like. Um, so I've been taking a lot of time to think on that and like write down lists about what I want to do next year and just kind of like plans for the future. My mind has literally just been all over the place and I've been thinking about a lot of things. And so November has been so, so much. Thankfully, um, Taylor did drop her new album this month and that helped me so much because it's such a good album and it just like reminded me to be happy. Um, but also we're finally getting to the end of the stupid Taylor Swift ticket boost thing. Like I love it. It's a great concept, but I'm so sick of it. I've been doing it since August, like three months straight and I've been not super consistent with it, but I've been fairly consistent all things considered. And I'm literally just like ready for it to be over. We only have a couple more days of it, so it's almost done. And then we can panic about tour in another way. But like literally, I've been clicking on the stupid videos for like a thousand years, it feels like, and I'm so ready for it to be over. So I kind of just wanted to fill you guys in on where I've been, what I've been doing, because I don't know it, you know? And this is what's been going on in my head, so I figured I'd share it. I know it wasn't a super exciting wrap up, kind of sad. Also, I didn't read any books and I'm not planning on reading any. Live in the dream. But um, I will be sharing more on my 2018 plans. I got literally so much planned. So, so much. You have no idea. I'm ready to go hard next year. I'm really excited for what's coming, but also like, if you've been wondering why I've been off lately, that this is it. This is the story. So, um, yes. Great. Seriously, thank you guys so much for listening. Um, also, thank you so, so much for subscribing. You don't know how much it's helped me to see that people still like genuinely care about me in that way. Like, I think we might hit 15K soon. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm pumped. You guys are the best. I love you. Um, if you have anything you want me to talk about, if you have any questions for me, literally anything at all, put it in the comments because I read them all and I love you guys and you're great. Awesome. Um, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.